Imagine an island of silt, one kilometer by one kilometer, on a river 20 kilometers broad, flowing at 12 knots. No electricity, no schools, not even a shop, no transport other than an occasional weekly boat. No permanent infrastructure is possible here. Yet, over 2,000 climate migrants are trying to live and survive day by day on this very island and millions of others throughout other islands in Bangladesh. Then comes the storms. The thin thatched roofs fly and the tin houses break. Their belongings wash away and then the very land they are standing on starts to break away, taking away their lives if they cannot find a way to leave that piece of land. The land they once called home. There are people who have moved 40 times over their lifetimes. These are the climate fighters, adapting, migrating, then adapting again, day after day, year after year. এখন <laughs> You have heard the story of one struggle, Salam struggle. There are hundreds and thousands of Salams who are living on these islands and on the shores of the Bay of Bengal. They are fighting for their survival daily. They are the frontliners bearing the impact of climate change. Just survive. Preservation of their life to food, be it agriculture or fishing, to health, to hope and dignity. It is their life which is at stake daily. Bangladesh is the land of a thousand rivers. Floods have always visited this land year after year because of the country's geographical and climatical conditions. Yet the present scenario is totally different. Floods are no longer predictable, for it happens three, four, even five times a year. This unpredictability in time and period of flooding causes huge loss to the economy and lives of people. Adapting to climate change is an everyday reality. This is why we started to work with climate-impacted communities long ago. Preparedness for disaster, we introduced an approach called CIDRR, Community Initiated Disaster Risk Reduction. This approach was initiated to train and build capacity blended with indigenous knowledge and modern concepts, creating totally local solutions. Then we ensured relief and shelter for those like Salam. This was not enough. We introduced transitional funding. The concept of transition fund by Rona Khan is a way forward, is a bridge between the under poverty situation to mainstream, between the relief receiving situation to mainstream and to resilient. This is a raised plant. You meet people here, all were displaced because of river erosion. See, we designed the plant in a way when water comes from north, because of oval-shaped plinth, 
the flow of water breaks and that can't break the plant. 30 family can live here for longer period. People from the community took part for the construction of the plant. We have built 18 plinths, but a lot more are needed. For today, thanks to these plinths, many of the migrants have shelters for themselves and their livestock. But much more food is needed for the months of flood. Together with the community, we had to find other new, locally-led, nature-based solutions. This was rice field last year. And this year is sand. The farmers can't grow rice here anymore. And this is a crisis. But we can't stop here because it leads to food insecurity. And Friendship offer technical knowledge how to grow some other vegetables like pumpkin, cucumber. And we, we support for irrigation so that they can grow more vegetables. This is agriculture transformation to adapt with climate change. Today we see changes, most important being the aspect of regaining their self-respect and dignity and the awareness that they themselves can bring change to their lives. This cannot come when there is continuous physical and mental suffering. 20 years ago, we realized that health issues needed to be addressed. This realization led to the first mobile ship hospitals to reach the chores. Today, a three-tier healthcare system, hospitals, clinics, and Friendship Community Medic Aids has been implemented throughout most water areas in the country. People couldn't reach healthcare. Friendship three tier health system now reaches them. Economic service kula di pa kiti thaaki. Ekto la outdoor, ekto la indoor. Outdoor er prescription ono jai ona der jabotir shakol oshut. Amra ekhan thaaki provide kore thaaki. Amader dental unit asse. Amader ekta eye department asse. Amra poti mashe onto to ek bar kore oder catarac surgery kula kori. Ar gaini ops department khatte amader special concern jara asse na tarra ekhan thaaki bechne history to me kula es service kula onara pe thaaki. Amader ekta surgery department asse. Surgery department thaaki amra specialized medical camp an essential component for survival is hope. Even amongst migrant communities who are barely surviving, hope needs to be inspired. Besides health and food, the single important giver of hope is education for their children so they can have a better life. Somehow in these isolated inaccessible areas where hardly a person could read and write, we needed to create educational centers. That wasn't easy. This is Friendship Primary School. This is first school in this chore. Chor is a Bangla word. It's a sandbar island and the only school other part of the river. For the children had no choice except this school. So we uh, wanted to make sure whatever the crisis, whatever the challenges, children should have education, should have access to education. And the way we constructed this school is you can dismantle it within three hours time. The, all the pil pillars are somehow rooted and so that all the sheets and you can dismantle. And in case of any river erosion, and now river erosion very unpredictable. So that uh, we can dismantle and take the school to board for a new location. We soon learned that the ultra poor migratory communities do not need just projects for survival. They need everything so as to have a platform and not quicksand on which to build their lives. 
we expanded our work according to their needs. This is floating latrine. Friendship has invented this idea to prevent contamination, to prevent open defecation during flood time. Apart from this, we created legal aid booth. They can get legal services with our assistance. We have created vocational training center and employment generation center at village level because the agriculture-based economy is a bit challenging at this moment. So we need to create jobs. We have established solar village and in, in south we have started mangrove plantation. There are many hidden issues like domestic violence, early marriage, abuse and friendship working through a holistic approach the access to service, addressing social issues, and all other eco-infrastructure, and combination of development and humanitarian challenges from this ground zero towards adaptation. Friendship has been working for more than 20 years with communities whose voices are never heard, and certainly not on international fora. Their solutions are key to create long-lasting impact and resilience. And these solutions can now be scaled up to other communities in danger, in Bangladesh and beyond. And this actually is the momentum. Our people are full of determination and hope. They face calamities value, be it floods, cyclones, river erosion. They are steadfast in their purpose. We will overcome every disaster. We will rebuild our houses. We will reshape our lives. They may not have our luxuries, but they have overwhelming courage and resilience. If we and our international partners take steps in supporting them and learning from them, borrowing some of their courage, the world will perhaps have more solidarity, more understanding, and we may find a new hope in our tomorrow.